Hi guys, so we are here for week two of my creative year for August. Our topic for this month is reduce, reuse, and recycle. Our prompt for this week is reuse. We are, as we have been doing in months past, building on a page over the month, yeah? Last week was, the prompt was reduce, so I reduced my color pal palette to black, white, and one other color, I chose green. And this is what we ended up with. Um, this week, our prompt is reuse. So we're going to reuse items, found objects on our page to add to our page. I happen to have one in my hand that not only is something to reuse, but it's also green. It's a bread tie. Um, I love using these in my work, and I do it frequently. Sometimes I just tuck it in somewhere. Sometimes I stamp or write a word on it, um, which I think I'm going to do this time. I'm going to use a Sharpie, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to use maybe a Sharpie. Um, I need a paint pen, that's for sure. Something that's going to stick. <clears throat> maybe a black Copic. I'm going to zoom in. I don't think I have more than one of these that's green, although I do have a green tea bag wrapper in my stash of things right here by my desk because I have a, a box of things that never quite get to put away. <laughs> Just, yeah, there it is. Um, I kind of would like to challenge myself to do the green. I would like to use found objects, of which there are a lot of things in here, because we're trying to reuse things, in this case for me, that would normally end up in the garbage, in the recycling, um, you know, something like that, keeping things out of the landfill. I'm all, I'm all about that. I think those two things are going to fit best. So I think we're going to stick with those. All right, um, do I want to write a word or just draw? I think I maybe just want to draw something. There's these shapes on this little scrap of paper that I picked to use. That's actually part of a rubber stamp set um, that I have in my stash. And I don't remember who the designer is, but it has these little like seed shapes on it. And then I'm going to take something teeny tiny. Teeny tiny. Uh, maybe my pokey tool. I don't know. That might be too, might be too pointy. I think we need something littler, but blunter. Yeah, let's do, let's do this. Oops. I have these kind of, um, they're um, called Style Sticks by Lowell Cornell, and I got them at Hobby Lobby, and they have different shapes. Um, I have had them a long time. They do still sell them at Hobby Lobby, um, but they're just for, like, dotting and pushing paint around, and this should be, yeah, that should work. Yep. <clears throat> and I'm going to push that over there, let that dry. I'm going to trim the top of this. And I'm going to just pop it open. Seems to want to come open anyway. And get that tea residue out. There we go. No idea, by the way, how I'm going to use this on the page. <laughs> just so you know, absolutely no plan. I just know I want to reuse things on the page. So the next thing I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take some washi tape. Maybe. I have one that's green. Green and not sparkly, people. Everything I own is sparkly. I don't think that's a good thing. That's not what I want. Oh, here we go. Green dots. Green dots. <clears throat> Don't 
tape our little tea bag back together and make it into a pocket. Push it down, trim the top. There we go. Um, I found there was a scrap piece of paper in here. There we go. That was from an art experiment. So let's use that to cut a little tag from. Let's reuse, because that's what we're doing is reusing, right? We had some scraps of our same feather paper and plastic from last week. Before somebody asked me, I don't remember what where this paper is from. I think it's from an old issue of Flow magazine. This is vellum paper, and the plastic um, with the just doing what you what makes me happy on it is uh, from a set of Project Life cards. Okay, so we're going to I have this punch from uh crocodile. It should be an angle punch. I guess we should try it on a scrap before I do the actual card. Let's see. So it just cuts like a tag angle like that. That's the large one. That's the small one. I think I want the large one. Makes any rectangle shape piece of cardstock into a tag shape immediately. And then you just need to punch a hole. Gonna just eyeball it. Staples. I love the look of just the industrial sort of look of staples. Gonna, it's not quite dry, so I'm being careful with a little bread. This is a bread tie. You know, it's the little thing that comes on your bread bag. <laughs> I saved them. I know it's crazy, but... So here's our page. Let's zoom out a bit. Oops, wrong way. There we go. So I think I want to just put this right here. And I think I'm going to just staple it. Because, you know, I like staples. Okay. So there you go. Reusing things I already had, things that were basically trash. 
um, interesting little bits that I found. I didn't buy it. I, I'm creating something interesting, uh, interesting composition from just things I had and reusing what I have. So think about how you can do that. Think about what you have in your stash that you can try this with. And I hope to see what you do. I hope you share it over in the Facebook group, the link for which is in the description below on my link tree link list of social media links. Um, I hope you, that you join us over on Facebook for um, the art, the community, the camaraderie. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the description below here on YouTube. I will get back to you ASAP. And above all, don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.